Hello, Solstice here, and today I'm going to show you an extremely recent build of mine. In fact, this is so recent, it was just last night, actually. Um, this is my Amaterasu build, based on Amaterasu from the game Okami. It, it, let me tell you, it's basically one of my most favorite games. And likewise, this was one of my most favorite characters, although, in the game, she was a wolf. Then an actual person with, like, outfit clothes, like, human hands and shoes. Oh, I still kept some of the wolf characteristics to her, like, um, the ears, um, the tail. And, like, in the game, she has these, um, things here. I guess in the game, they're, like, crazy bits of fluff or something. Some people like to call them wings, but personally I don't think they're wings. If they were wings, then why doesn't the wolf fly? But anyway, yeah, this has been uh, one heck of a project for me. I moved on to trying more and more at my hands toward like more organic legs and more organic design like uh <clears throat> yeah I guess this is somewhat of an arm improvement like they look more organic and I was trying to make sort of like these sided fists I'm still not the best when it comes to hands but eh, it's uh, effort that counts I think I got her divine holy instrument on her back been a good long time since last time I played it. I forget what the actual name to this is. But yeah, turned out decent. I wish I do get the little design on the back properly. Um, oh no, I like how it turned out. I tried to um, incorporate the little like marks that she has on like her sides and stuff, and back out of um, redstone blocks. Basically, if it was important, I, and on the clothes, it'd be like redstone blocks. Then, if it was on the face, I did the um, red stained clay. Then to like try to try a few things for red or something, and uh, a little more less of a plain face and more godlike. I tried making her eyes more glowy, and I would have used red wool here, but yeah, you could probably see where I'm going with this. <laughs> I don't really know the ranges of um, lava burning things, so. I don't trust myself to just toss that and just risk the whole thing catching on fire. <laughs> In which case, I'd have to punch a bunch of things out and maybe even fix other things. Uh, yeah. This outfit is very custom. I did not pick it up from anywhere. I've seen ideas for outfits. But this design specifically, I came up on my own as I went. I'd basically build it and decide on designs as I go. Like, I would put this in, then I would think, oh, let's try like a bit of this here like this, and a bit of these here like that in between without them having like um, any form of adjacency, even diagonal. In their placements, and like, why not try to like gradient some brighter t in there to like these bands or some kind of like holding it up better? I really thought this out. Like, one of the first more neater of details I did was this. This has been one of my most favorite bow designs I've ever made. <laughs> 
And the only disappointing part is, with all this stuff back here, you don't see it fully. With uh, the better, fuller view. But personally, I'm not too bothered, as long as I know how well that turned out. I originally tried building this with um, white stained clay. Like, uh, I was hoping it'd probably like do better for me in terms of skin color for these, but I wasn't too fond of that actually. It just made it too tan for like it basically made <laughs> in comparison to this with the skin tone idea for that. It just did not go the same way I was hoping for. So I pretty much just changed all the skin back to um, my typical sandstone. It's just regular sandstone, like um. I also looked at its the stained clay without OCD pack, and it was still pretty um, yeah. So that was a thing I had to really back off of. And also, this looks pretty good even in default texture pack. All in all, I'm pretty happy with this. I was originally going to build something else in this world. With um, the stone. Like, stone everywhere. But I decided to build this instead once I started trying to make the shoes. And I was like... Oh, but I really want to make this right now, and it, I'm just having these ideas stuck in my head. Let's run with this. But yeah, it turned out great. As usual, there will be a download link in the description. Or I should say, a link that goes straight to the um, Planet Minecraft page. And likewise there, there should be a link there. If you want to check it out, yeah, you can just go there. Get this stuff out of my inventory and switch back to OCD. My OCD is kicking in. Pun entirely intended. Yeah, it's... But it's actually the most time on um, these legs. <clears throat> Just trying to make them look leg-like and organic. That was like the real challenge of all this. The rest of it came naturally, actually. But yeah. That's all I have to say for now. Um, besides, I actually set like a little weather message right there. Like, once it changes the weather back to, um, sunny, uh, it'll also uh, play a little message that I suppose Amaterasu would probably say. And for those who don't know, Amaterasu is from the game called Okami for the PlayStation 2 and Nintendo Wii. It is actually an amazing game. If you haven't played it, you should go check it out. It's, it's Zelda good. If you liked it, and if you played and liked Zelda Twilight Princess, you are going to like Okami. It is very, very good. It is very fun. There's lots of neat things you get to do. The combat isn't too bad. You get all these crazy brush powers. Anyway, I'll have more description on what Okami is at like my Planet Minecraft page for this. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like it. Hope you want to check it out. Feel free to do so. I am Solstice, 41 Solstice 25. And I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.